this is your reading for your love and relationship reading for uh, May 2022. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading hypnosis, whatever I do. Also visit Lana's Enchanted Sky or EnchantedSky.com. You can also visit buy me a cup of co buy me a coffee.com. I can never get it right. Slash Enchanted Sky. That will pop up and uh, you can donate me a coffee if you like what I do because I do all this for free for you consistently. So that'll help me buy my get my health center in the right spot that I want it to be. Okay, so please visit Metaphysical Meanderings. That's my podcast um, covering metaphysical and now paranormal. I have been doing a little paranormal, but I'm doing much more of it. So I'll be watching. Joke of the day. So what did the fish say when he, he swam into the to the wall? Damn. There's joke. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Um, ooh, new relationship. Ooh. Now, remember water signs. My Everybody in my life is a water sign. I, and I'm a water sign uh, moon. So... Do these jo do these work for me? Of course they do. You know you're more than one sign. You take your your sun, your moon, and your rising. Now, um, very very soon, I want you to be checking out astrologygumbo.com. That is my website that has free everything: uh, natal charts, tarot readers, tarot readings. Um, everything's pretty much free on there on purpose, and uh, we have advertising is what we're doing. And trying to keep it free and as easy as possible for people. So check that out and you can see your sun, your moon, and your rising. Okay? Now, page of wands, you got a message coming. And you have the possibility of a relationship coming. And it looks really good. You know, you're you're getting over one. You're starting anew. Ooh, it's going to happen really fast. You know, you have to let go of some other things and realize um, to pick up your pieces. And that's what you're doing. Now... The sun card, it was what you're expecting, is upside down, which it still means yes. It's still, mean, it's still a good card, even though it's one of the weird ones that even if it's upside down, it's still yes. Now, it's just not as intense as you would like it to be. Same thing for the tower. I bet you guys didn't know that. Tower means the same thing upside down. Um, you know, you're juggling. Are you juggling two people? Because this is a relationship card. Now, this could be you juggling... Um, Time and money, time and money, time and money, time and money. But there is something that's going to happen within 30 days. And all of this, what's going on in your situation of the month is going to take, it's going to either take place in the middle of May or the first week of May or so, almost the second week, because it's, I believe the it's around the 10th or 12th or something like that. It's the full moon. And that can represent that or a 30-day cycle, either one. Now, there is a woman of power involved. And there is a juggling. So, and here's, I mean, you get a lot of messages. We've got this, this we've got like four or five of them. Here's a message, and it's a very, very emotional message. It can also represent a youthful person, a gay person. Um, it's, it's a youthful, it's a very emotional response. And you're also having a written response. So it could be an email, it could be a text, or a snail mail. Okay? And... You did do, do did start something new. Something has started that's new. And you are saying, okay, let's just do this. Are you juggling two people? Like I said, are you juggling just, you just can't handle all of the responsibilities of a relationship or something of that nature? Because I'm going to tell you here, this is like, this card represents a relationship, the start of one. And you're crossed with lots of arguing, lots of, of mock battles, petty annoyances, things you have to get through. And I do know that, that you're heading towards making a plan and waiting for that ship to come in. So now it had been, from what I see, you might have been, this relationship might have been the man of your dreams at some point, or even a fire sign. But like I said, it's, I don't want to say stagnant. I want to say more like um, you're controlling it all. And like I said, you are the one going forward with something. You're going to jump and let the net materialize. Okay. Now, you're very close to achieving that goal that you want so bad. So just remember that. And bring love into your situation. Love of yourself also. 
Um, your dreams have a practical plan, so stick with that and remember that. Be bold and make the first move. So it, that could represent this, by the way, represent, making the first move. Nothing yet set in stone, so if you don't do it, then don't. A lot of times you get the free will. You know that, right? There's certain things in your chart that are planned and predestined, and there's certain places that are completely free will. Confidence is your key to success, so stay confident through this whole thing, which this represents confidence. So just remember that. What are you going to do with this? You know, you got these messages coming, and things are rolling very quickly. It has to do with a relationship, okay? So... You make it happen. You, If I had to say one of the most important cards in this deck, that this reading, is this card. It represents you just going ahead with having a lot of faith and going for it. Blessings to you. Make it a great month. 